I'm Captain Greg DeBrule of the Black Hawk and we're talking tackle today. One of the biggest things that I see in the race and everywhere else that we uh, fish is people trying to return bluefish or short bass or short fluke or whatever back to the water. I don't know how many times I've seen guys chasing bluefish around on the deck of the boat and they grab them with a towel and they got a they got a pair of pliers and they're trying to take the hook out and that's bl blood coming from the gills and then they throw the thing over. I mean you have to understand and boy this is a real this is a real good one, okay? There are de hookers. Let me repeat that to everybody. There are de hookers that you can use that are the simplest, the easiest. You can make them at home, you can buy them at any reputable tackle store, and it makes the task of releasing a fish so much easier. Okay? It doesn't hurt the fish, it returns it to the water. You, you know, when you bounce a fish on the deck of the boat, it's got a mucus covering on it, and you lose that covering right off the bat. That's a protective covering that keeps disease and everything else out. So you're your, its percentages of making it go down dramatically when it's beating around on the deck and you grab it with a paper towel or a rag. So anyhow, this is a simple de-hooker right here, okay? There's, there's other ones. My mate's got all different kinds of them. This is, you can get these at any tackle store. All it is, this is a piece of stainless and it has a J-hook on the end. And all you do is, is run that down the hook. We, we never bring the fish on board the boat. There's a train going on back because we're at, we're at Amtrak here. You know, talking to you from a boat, waiting for a train. But anyhow, we never bring the fish on board the boat. We simply grab hold, twist up the leader, and this runs right down to the hook and we just snap it. You hold the jig in one hand, jig, bucktail, whatever, and this goes right down to the hook and you pull it right out effortlessly effectively, easily takes the hook out of the fish. Now if they're gut hooked, a little bit different. You gotta work at it a little bit. But I'll show you in just a second. I'll get a diamond jig and we'll try to show you and we'll give you an example. But do yourself a favor. For the for the sake of the industry in returning these fish, you can do it with striped bass. You can, you can do it with anything. You can do it with blackfish. You can do it with porgies. You can do it with anything. The, the size of the uh, of the uh, de hooker varies on the size of the fish and the size of the hook. But again, here's one here. This is a this is one of my mates. This is I guess this is what we call the King Kong de hooker. You know, but the, the technique is the same. You grab it, put the hook right in there. I'm gonna get a diamond jig and I'm and I'm gonna show you here, okay? Stand by. Just saw a quick little flash there of uh, one of our mates there, Nikki, de hooking a fish. It's so easy, it's so simple. Again. This is the diamond jig. This is one of our, our sought-after hammered jigs. This is the gold one with a sidewash hook. But you, you, grab the, you grab the lure, whatever it is, pretty close to the hook. The fish is dangling on there now. You just run this down to the hook, flip the thing up in one shot, give it a, a jerk, and it'll come right out. I don't care what kind of fish, if it's hooked in its mouth, lip. If it's gut hooked, a little bit different. You're going to have to struggle to get it out if you can. But you can de-hook just about anything. It doesn't matter. You can de-hook a shark this way. Even in the water if you had a long one. You don't want to put your hand down there. But I mean, but this is the simplest method to de-hook a fish. We've thrown a lot of these because we make up so many of them. We've thrown them to a lot of skiffs that we see struggling with this. And they just, they write us back and say, man, it's absolutely uh, terrific. So go to your tackle store or go to your workshop, make up a few of them and you're going to have a much easier time returning bluefish and short fluke and short bass back to the ocean where they belong. Okay. One other note, you know when we started this talk and tackle we had no idea that it would be as popular as it is. A lot of people, oh we got another train, a lot of people are writing in, emailing us in, asking, they have a lot of, a lot of questions on other areas, some even offshore. You know, we're going to try to make up index cards with everyone's name on it. Uh, Joe Smith from Middletown, and here's his question. We'll try to do it every week, so we'll be covering a larger range of topics. So if you have a question, I don't care if you're a skiff or you have a yacht, you're fishing the canyon, you're fishing Block Island, cod fishing, it really doesn't matter what, because I've done it all. I've caught everything from giant tuna to 1,000-pound blue marlin. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just uh, email it in, and we'll try to address everyone's question. Okay? I'm Captain Greg DeBrew of the Blackhawk. Good fishing.